This time we're going to explore the tangent line with top spin uh, at a little different speeds just so that we can get a better idea of what's happening for cue ball control. As I said last segment, that if we had a tangent line such as this that was running at a 90 degree angle to the center of the pocket, the line of travel, then our cue ball is going to start off this direction, but I said that with a top spin, with a forward roll, it's going to arc and go more to the left in this case. Well, it's going to arc more or less depending upon what kind of speed you use. So in other words, if we take this set up here and we just use just a slow speed, then we can see it arced well over this way. But if we then take it and we set up, try to set up the shot as nearly identical as possible. But let's use a little more speed. Now look. Now it went to the left, which the top spin told us it was going to do. It didn't follow the tangent line down this way. It did go to the left, but what happened? The speed made a difference and it straightened it out more and it went straight into the corner pocket. Not a desirable thing, but that's why we need to understand what more or less speed will do to us as far as staying on the tangent line or diverging off of the tangent line.